Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Rezac, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is October 4, 2023, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, we're watching the U.S. markets tumble. But first, looking at today's major economic events. So at 4 p.m. South African time out of the United States, we have an ISM services PMI numbers coming out. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, we're watching the euro, the British pound, the Canadian dollar all continue their sell-off versus the USD. However, the Japanese yen looks like it's getting stronger and not making new lows. Now, looking both at the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq, both sold off quite aggressively. But first, looking at commodities, gold continues to trickle lower while oil gets a bounce. Let's see if it's a dead cap bounce. And looking at the stocks, the sell-off was across the board. However, bank stocks were the weakest. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, out of all this, remains unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, starting with the EURUSD, back to our lows, 104.70-ish level right now, as we talk about it right now. Now looking at a weekly chart, this is the only way we can do it. We've broken support at 105.520, and this means we could potentially go back to parity versus the dollar for the euro. Now looking at the GBP also free falling to 120.65. Now also across the board, Canadian dollar reaching new lows, 137. That's really important as it's breaking above that resistance ish level. However, the Japanese yen got stronger. Okay, look at that going from 150 ish level, just hitting it and then making a correction on the downside. Now looking at a daily, we are almost at our all time highs. Okay, this is it. This is where we're at. Does it mean that we're not going to go higher? No, it just means for now, we're taking a little bit of a step backwards when it comes to this as well. Now I want to highlight this also because this is really important. And don't always cover the South African Rand, but seeing that most of you are in South Africa, and this is just a very important currency for those that are trading it okay 1936 is where we're at we're close to our all-time lows okay if we look at a weekly chart we're only about 30 pips away from our all-time lows versus the dollar and this could mean since we're broken out from the range okay we did have a resistance ish level 1910 ish level and now we've broken above that we could see ourselves going back to our all-time lows versus the dollar okay that could still happen so just to digress here a little bit there as well as the dollar is getting stronger almost across the board now jumping into commodities gold trickling lower not a lot 1819 remember we have a support level of 1800 okay but didn't do much there we did expect it to extend the losses looking at crude oil we're getting a bounce now the question is whether or not this is a dead cat bounce because you see that it did bounce to 89 dollars from 87 dollars However, is it real or is it going to sell off continuously? All right. So for right now, this was a V formation when we hit that $94. Okay. So just want to highlight that once again, because this does look like it's solidifying around this area. Now, jumping into the U.S. market, the Dow Jones free falling to 33,000. Remember, just a couple of months ago, we were at 3,500. That's 2,500 points for the Dow Jones. And that is a bona fide sell off. If we saw one, okay. Now the question is, as we're going into October, are we going to make that switch? Are the tech stocks going to save us? And the AI somewhere in the future is going to help us kind of reclaim ourselves. Now, if you look at the Nasdaq, it's not tumbling, it's selling off, but it's not tumbling. Okay, so the Dow Jones was the one that really sold off much more aggressively, and J.P. Morgan. Okay, breaking that supportish level. If we look at Bank of America, also free falling here to twenty-five dollars a share okay this is why it's so important to trade the u.s markets because at any given time there's something trading okay so right now the banks are selling off great opportunity for a short looking at microsoft it sold off but didn't make new lows for the year okay if we look at facebook also just sell off but trading really sideways okay if we look at some of the other big tech apple not doing much okay not selling off so we're seeing a lot of strength when it comes to the high tech stocks at least for now Okay, this may expire, but at least for now, showing some strength when it comes to that. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, really unchanged, 27,400. All this market activity and Bitcoin remains unchanged, kind of showing you that Bitcoin is really out of play right now and not really to focus on it. Now, lots of things are coming up this month, corporate earning towards the end of the month. So 
be aware of it. I do anticipate the U.S. markets to continue selling off before then. This is Fed Act. I want to wish everybody a great training day. Thank you.